Hey, what's going on guys? Dan from FHCOutdoors.com. Today's video is all about the latest and greatest from Navionics and we're talking about their mobile apps, uh, iPhone, iPad, Android devices and tablets as well as PC and Mac at home. And uh, these Navionics apps, they're award-winning vector charts, they have community layers uh, that allow you to access and input information so that other Navionics users uh, can look at that information. Wind charts, uh, tide charts, magazines and guides. It's basically the largest database of, uh, of marine POIs. We're talking route planning, route tracking, adding, editing and deleting waypoints and markers on your favorite bodies of water, satellite overlays, and you know what, you can sync your data across all of your devices. And so this is Navionics Mobile. I'm gonna go ahead and take you through some basic features and some things that I think you should pay attention to when setting up these apps and show you uh, basically how to add some waypoints, edit information, uh, and make sure that all of your interests are covered with Navionics Mobile. So let's take a look. So right when you open the app, you're gonna see some options and I'm gonna go ahead and take a uh, couple couple seconds here and go through the menu settings and we're gonna go down scroll down to map options and this is where you're gonna choose no overlay uh, if you want the mapping system and, and the, uh, the surrounding areas of your favorite bodies of water to be um, without a Google Maps or Bing or terrain overlay of course you can choose something similar to Google Maps over to Bing as well as just some terrain uh, contours. And so I prefer to have it on maps. Uh, the easy view is turned on, which magnifies icons and text, makes things a little bit easier to read. Uh, moving down is a safety depth. If you are concerned, if you have a certain area of the lake that you need to make sure that you stay away from, such as moving this to uh, five feet, it will turn those portions of the lake a dark blue and so that way you can uh, you know navigate safely um, throughout your favorite bodies of water of course you have advanced maps options that you can get into uh, we're gonna go ahead and come back here and press done back into the menu one more thing I'd like you to uh, take a look at is the settings and go through some of the options here for units you can choose a distance kilometers nautical miles or miles change your depth from meters to feet to fathoms. Uh, estimating fuel consumption, you can choose liters or gallons and a speed, of course, uh, here in the United States, we have mile per hour. And so you can choose those settings. Um, for boat settings, now this is where you can estimate your fuel consumption based off of your cruising speed. So if you do rely on Navionics and their systems for uh, estimating fuel consumption, this is where you do that. Community layer. Uh, or community edits. Uh, this is a compilation of hundreds of thousands of edits made by Navionics users. Um, you can view and contribute to this yourself. So let's say you're on the water and you notice a hazard. You know you can mark that hazard on the community layer. And anyone that has this feature turned on, uh, that has a Navionics account, you know they can see that and they can avoid trouble areas. Uh, really, really great feature. Um, syncing your data. Another important one. Uh, this here is the iPad 2 uh, running the Navionics HD on this one. Um, I also have an iPhone 5S and so anything I add to the Navionics app on the iPad it instantly syncs across uh, to my iPhone 5S and so um, really really cool feature if my wife takes the iPad to work I can go ahead take my iPhone and I don't miss a beat anything I do at home is synced over to my iPhone 5S of course you have the about section shows you the version that you're running and the actual Navionics app that you're running and for more you know for more information or support you can always email Navionics at mobile at navionics.com so with those basic settings out of the way I've received a lot of questions about adding waypoints and markers and editing them and deleting them and so I did a Navionics video a couple years back that received tremendous amount of praise from people and, and basically just making it really easy for people to understand and um, you know there's a couple other options here uh, that I'll show you before we get into adding waypoints which is your track and route buttons and so if you're on the water and you want to track where you've been you can always hit the track button and you can choose new track and what will happen is as you move around the lake 
it'll actually keep a, a track for you. And so you can save those tracks, you can edit them or delete them. Um, of course, if you do that a lot, you're gonna have a lot of lines running all over. And so people that have Navionics on their boats or some sort of GPS tracking are familiar with tracks. And so um, you can edit those and you, you can totally customize that to your experience. A route is kind of a pre-planning type of uh, opportunity that Navionics offers and so on this particular body of water, let's say I had a few areas that I wanted to make sure that I follow along a route. And what I can do is hit a new route and start tapping places that I would like to hit. Once you're done, of course, you know, you can remove them um, or if you hit the route button again, you can save or delete them. And so if I wanted to save this route and make sure that I hit some of these points along the way, this route option is there for me the entire way. When it comes to adding markers and waypoints, it's really simple. Let's just say we were to catch a largemouth bass up here on this transition point that leads up to this flat. All you do is drag your map and this is on any, any device, um, there's going to be a cursor and what you would do is hit the question mark and you're going to have some different options here like measuring distance or you know looking at weather what we're going to do is add a marker now right here you have a few different options one you can change from the blue thumbtack to a house or to a green fish or to an anchor and of course every person uses these differently uh, i normally just use the blue thumbtack uh, for everything but uh, what you can do is add a name maybe we wanted to add this largemouth and what we're gonna do is add that to our map. And so instantly you see the blue thumbtack. Now I can go back in, if you ever need to edit or delete them, put your cursor over it, hit the question mark again. Now what we can do is choose that particular thumbtack and once again we can go back in and edit. Maybe you wanna make that a fish, change the name. I can either save that, edit, or I can delete that marker altogether. So that's how you add a waypoint or a marker. Now just to show you how simple and convenient it is to add this information and share it across all your devices, let's say we have the same body of water and I want to put an icon where we launch so we can get back there uh, without delay at the end of the day. We're going to go ahead and hit the question mark, add a marker, change the blue thumbtack to home because that's where we launched our boat, add it to the map, and as soon as I go back to my other device, fire up, Navionics, it's going to show you exactly where we launched this morning. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Of course, the team over at Navionics are always more than willing to help you with any question or concerns, and you can visit them at navionics.com. Thanks for taking the time to sit down. I hope this answers a few questions. I know I've gotten quite a few emails about some of the basic features, and uh, I, I certainly recommend Navionics, whether it's on your boat or at home, they've got you covered with everything in between.